Hello everyone. My name is Dilraj Kumar Paswan. I work with BMC support team. I am specialized in BMC discovery, helix discovery and integration between BMC discovery and other product. In this webinar, I am going to talk about Kubernetes discovery essential. Let's start with agenda of this webinar. We will start with the introduction of the discovery and overview of how Kubernetes discovery works with the BMC discovery. Then we will start with Kubernetes discovery where we will talk about required prerequisites and how we can set up account and permissions in Kubernetes. We will then take a demo to see how to discover Kubernetes using created account. We will also talk about how to discover Kubernetes when it created in cloud. Later we will discuss how to troubleshoot some of the common issues. Let's start with an introduction to BMC discovery. BMC discovery is agentless discovery solution that discover data center and cloud assets, configuration and relationship data. It has feature to sync the discover data into various supported CMDB that is BMC Remedy CMDB, Remedy Force CMDB and ServiceNow CMDB. Let's see what all supported API provider discovery support. Currently discovery support the scanning of API provider is Kubernetes OpenShift cluster, MongoDB, MongoDB Atlas and Rancher managed Kubernetes cluster. Next we will see how Kubernetes scanning work using BMC discovery when it deployed on-prem. Let's say you have Kubernetes cluster which having one master node and two worker nodes. The master node is responsible for cluster management and for providing the API used to configure and manage resources within the Kubernetes cluster with the help of services such as control manager which is responsible for managing the state of cluster, scheduler which is responsible for scheduling ports on worker nodes. ETCD It stores the information about the cluster like what states of cluster are changed, what resources are available, is the cluster healthy or not and the API server which validates and configure data for the API object which includes ports, services etc. Let's dive deep in worker node. The core components on worker node include container runtime, kubelet and kube proxy. The container runtime runs the container on worker node. It's responsible for pulling the images from registry, starting and stopping the containers and managing the container resources. Next, the kubelet is a daemon that runs on each worker node. It is responsible for communicating with the master node. It receives instruction from the master node about which ports to run on the node and ensure that the desired state of the ports is maintained. Kube proxy is a network proxy that runs on each worker node and it's responsible for routing the traffic to the correct port. It also provides load balancing to the ports. Now let's talk about a port. A port is a group of one or more containers such as Docker containers that shared storage for those containers and options about how to run the container. Now to discover these nodes, services and resources, you would need to have BMC discovery appliance or outpost and configure the credential that discovery appliance or outpost can use to connect the master node. Then discovery will run Kubernetes API request which is predefined in discovery to collect the data of these Kubernetes node services and the data will be captured as discovered data. Discovery then inferred the discovered data and create various nodes such as namespace, deployments, software ports, software containers, host node and cluster. Now let's talk about the scanning of Kubernetes when it created in cloud. Let's say you have two worker nodes which are managed by the Kubernetes services of the clouds. For example, EKS from AWS, AKS of Azure, JKE from GCI and OKE from OCI. First, let's say you are scanning the cloud using created cloud credential. Discovery appliance or outputs run respective cloud API requests to collect the cloud data. 
these data will be captured as discover data and then discovery in further discover data and create cloud providers, cloud regions and cloud services. Regarding the Kubernetes node services, with cloud scanning, discovery will create cluster node and related VM nodes. Not all supported Kubernetes entity are discovered as part of cloud scanning. For scanning all supported Kubernetes entities such as namespace, deployment, ports, container, it is required to perform the Kubernetes API scanning using created Kubernetes credential. When you perform the Kubernetes scanning, discovery or outpost will run the Kubernetes API request on cloud Kubernetes services using cluster URL and then discovery will create Kubernetes node like namespace, deployments, software ports, software container and host nodes in discovery. Now let's have a quick look. The node kind got created in discovery for Kubernetes nodes, services, etc. after successful scan. First one is Kubernetes cluster such as on-prem Kubernetes cluster, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service that is EKS, Azure Kubernetes service AKS, Google Kubernetes engine JKE, OCI container engine for Kubernetes OKE, all are discovered as cluster in discovery. Second one is master and worker node, which is discovered as hosts and software instance, which identify which particular node is the master or which particular node is a worker node. Next, we have components running on master and worker nodes, that is etc container runtime, which are discovered as software instance. Note that a discovery only support the container runtime such as docker CRIO container D. Next we have namespace. Namespace in the Kubernetes are discovered as namespace in discovery. Deployments, replica sets, daemon sets, stateful sets, jobs, all these nodes in Kubernetes are discovered as deployments. The pods are discovered as software pod and services, ingresses, routes are all discovered as load balancer service in discovery. Now let's start what are the prerequisites for discovering Kubernetes. General configuration information such as cluster URL and port on which cluster is running. Cluster URL must be accessible from discovery and outpost and credential that is service account and cluster role should be created on Kubernetes cluster. Now let's talk about the credential which is required to connect the Kubernetes cluster for scanning. Discovery can connect the Kubernetes cluster using service account and having required permissions. For the Kubernetes scanning, let's see what type of access and permissions are required. The access type CLI is required to configure the service account cluster role in Kubernetes cluster which will further use in discovery to run the REST API requests. Regarding permissions, cluster role that grants read that is get and list permissions and service account created in the default namespace and bind to this cluster role. Now we will see how we can configure this service account and cluster role in Kubernetes, how we can use this to create credential in discovery how we can perform discovery scan of Kubernetes and go through the discover data. I have logged in my discovery appliance. Now let's see what all REST API request discovery runs against Kubernetes cluster while running the scan. To see that, go to the administration page, click on the cloud and API providers and click on API. From all the supported API providers, click on Kubernetes cluster. From this page, we can see all this request discovery run on Kubernetes cluster during the scan. BMC provides and sample YAML files for creating account and provide required permissions. Let's first download the YAML file from discovery UI, which I will use to create account and provide required permission. To download this YAML file, go to manage, click on discovery tools, here look for Kubernetes RBAC setup, so scroll down, here we can see 
Kubernetes RBAC setup. Now click on download Kubernetes RBAC setup YAML to download this file. Now we have downloaded the YAML file. Let's go to the Kubernetes cluster CLI and configure account which we will further use in discovery while creating credential. For this demo, I have created cluster of two members. Here I am logged in master node of this cluster via putty session. Let's run command kubectl get node. Here we can see two nodes with status as ready. Now let's create the account and cluster role. For this, first open the downloaded Kubernetes RBAC setup YAML file which we have downloaded from discovery UI. Here we can see the YAML file which used to create the cluster role, service account, security and cluster role binding. For this demo, I will make few changes for the name of the account, cluster role etc. So I am changing this cluster role from discovery to demo discovery. Similarly for this service account, let's change it to demo discovery. And also for the cluster role binding name, let's keep this demo discovery. As we have changed this service account to demo discovery, let's keep this demo discovery and for the cluster role also make it demo discovery. Also for the secret, here the name is discovery hyphen token. Let's make this to demo discovery hyphen token. And for this service account name is uh, showing discovery. Let's change it to demo discovery and save the file. Now I will upload this file to master node of cluster and will apply this YAML file so that it create cluster role, service account, cluster role binding and secret with defined name and permissions. Let's go to the putty session of master node. Here I have already uploaded the file. Let's open and verify the file. So as we can see the cluster role name is demo discovery and service account name is demo discovery and we have the cluster role binding and secret. Let's apply this YAML file. First clear the screen. Run command kubectl apply hyphen f and the file name and enter. Here we can see cluster role demo discovery got created service account demo discovery created cluster role binding with name demo discovery is also created and secret demo discovery hyphen token got created. We can also verify this by running the command cube ctl get service account enter here we can see our demo discovery service account got created for the cluster role run command cube ctl get cluster role enter here we can see our demo discovery cluster role got created similarly we can run command cube ctl get secret we can see here demo discovery hyphen token secret got created and last we can run command kubectl get cluster role binding here we can see our demo discovery cluster role binding got created successfully now we need to capture the token to create credential in discovery so let's run command kubectl get secret here we can see our created secrets that is demo discovery hyphen token so select this secret and run command kubectl describe secret demo discovery hyphen token and enter here we can see our token also we need cluster URL for creating the credential so run command kubectl cluster hyphen info 
Now here we can see our cluster URL. Now we will go to the discovery UI for creating the credential. From discovery UI, go to manage, click on credentials and click on add. Now scroll down, search for the API provider and click on Kubernetes. Here give a meaningful name. Scroll down and copy the token from the master node. And enter here. Similarly, we can go to the master node and copy the cluster URL and put in this cluster URL section. Now scroll down and apply. Here we can see our credential got created successfully. Now we will run the discovery scan for the Kubernetes. To scan, go to the manage and click on discovery. Add new run. Give a meaningful name here. In timing, select this snapshot. For targeting, select the API. Now from this API provider, select the Kubernetes and here in the credential section, we need to select the credential which we have created. That is Kubernetes webinar. Now click on OK. Here we can see our scanning is in progress. So let's wait till it completed. As we can see, our scan got completed. Go to the recent run and click our discovery run. From this discovery page, we can see our scanning failed with no access. So let's see what happened for this scanning. So click on no access, scroll down. Here we can see our discovery method failed with no access with one script failure. To see what exactly happened, click on this one script failure. Now if we look into this error message, it's talk about SSL certificate verify failed. Unable to get local issuer certificate. So seems like there is some problem with the certificate. So let's go to the credential. Open this created credential. Scroll down. Here we can see there is a TLS certificate check is enabled. However, I have not configured the certificate authentication in our master node. So for now, we will disable it. Let's apply this. Now changes has been applied on this credential. So let's rerun our scan. Click on rescan. So scan is in progress. Again, let's wait for some time. As the scan is completed, now let's go to the recent run, open our discovery run. Here we can see our scan is completed with success and discovery able to create the nodes like cluster, host, software instance, namespace, deployments, software ports, software containers, load balancer services and pools. Apart from this node, discovery also create the relationship between these discovered nodes. To see those relationship, let's go to the explore and data. Click on cluster. Below we can see the consolidated overview of discovered nodes from Kubernetes scanning such as namespace, host nodes, load balancer services. Now let's visualize this cluster to see how nodes are related to each other. So click on visualize. From this visualization page, we can see namespace on top. As we discussed previously in Kubernetes discovery overview, we have top node which is namespace. So let's open one namespace in new tab and go through the hierarchy in which nodes are related to each other. So right click on this namespace, open in a new tab. Now here we can see the top node is a namespace under which there are four deployments are there. Let expand one deployments to see other related nodes. So right click, expand collection. Now here we can see namespace under this there is a deployments and this deployments having this software port which having two software container and this two software container is the part of worker node. Next we will see how to discover the multiple Kubernetes cluster managed by Rancher. 
to discover multiple Kubernetes cluster managed by Rancher. We need Rancher URL and token generated with API keys to run API query to get the all Kubernetes clusters. If we want to access all Kubernetes clusters via one token, we need to generate API key for all the clusters with no scope option. Next, we will see the demo to generate the token and create credential in discovery using generated token. I have logged into the Rancher UI and discovery UI. First, let's create the API key in Rancher and capture the token. So let's go to the Rancher UI. Before we create the API key, here we can see there are three Kubernetes cluster are managed by this Rancher. So to create the API key, go to the user author, click on account and API keys, click create API key, give here meaningful description. Now here we have the scope, which is out of the box selected as no scope. So if you go to this scopes, there are list of all Kubernetes cluster. Suppose you want to discover any one cluster through this rancher, you can select the scope. For this demo, I'm going to select no scope so that we can able to discover all these three cluster via rancher. Let's select never for the automatically expire. Click on create. Now here we can see the access key, secret key and barrier token. So we will use this barrier token in discovery to create the credential. To create the credential in discovery, go to the discovery UI, click on manage credentials, click on add, scroll down. In API provider, we need to select this rancher. Give a meaningful name for this credential. Now scroll down. In the rancher token section, we need to put the token we have created in rancher UI. So go to the rancher UI, copy this token and enter in this value. Now we need a rancher URL. So go to the rancher UI and and copy the URL. Now go to the discovery, enter this URL here. Now click on apply. Here we can see we have successfully created the credential. Now we will run the discovery scan for this credential. To perform the discovery run, go to the manage, click on discovery, add new run, give a meaningful name. Select the targeting as API. In provider section, select the rancher managed Kubernetes cluster. And here we will select the credential which we have just created, rancher Kubernetes. Now click on OK. As the scan is in progress, let's wait until it's completed. As we can see, the scan is completed. Now go to the recent runs, click the discovery run. Now from this discovery summary page, we can see all three clusters are discovered successfully along with their related nodes like host, software instance, namespace, deployments, software ports, software containers and load balancers services and pools. Now to see how these nodes are related to each other, go to the explore and data. Click on cluster. Here we can see all three clusters are created as a cluster node in discovery. Now if we open any cluster node from this list, we will able to see all related nodes from this cluster. So click on this first cluster. Here we can see this discovery hyphen dev cluster and related namespace host and load balancer services. Also, if we click on the visualization, here we can see the namespaces and load balancer services connected to this cluster. Now to see the other nodes related to the namespace, so go to that namespace, click on this plus sign. Now here we can see the deployments on this particular namespace. Now if we right click on this deployments, expand the collection, we will be able to see other nodes under these deployments. 
so here is our namespace under this namespace we have these deployments under this deployments we have this software board and below is the software containers which is managed by this host node from this visualization we can able to see the discovered node from this cluster and how it is connected to each other next we will talk about the azure kubernetes service aks discovery to scan the azure kubernetes services first we need the microsoft azure cli access so that we can able to create the kubernetes credential which we will further use in our discovery to create the credential second cluster url which we will use in our discovery as a part of endpoints for scanning and credential in discovery let's take a demo to create the credential and perform the discovery scan of microsoft azure kubernetes service i have logged into azure portal and discovery ui let's go to the azure portal and review the deployed resources here we can see the two subscription available and i have created the azure kubernetes service in subscription azure subscription 1 now if i go to this kubernetes service here we can see the kubernetes service which i have created that is azure aks if i open this kubernetes service here you can see the subscription information and resource group and kubernetes version also we can see the name spaces available in this kubernetes and if we scroll down we can also see the node pools which are managed by this azure kubernetes service now first we will perform the scanning of azure clouds and will review the discover data related to this kubernetes service for scanning azure cloud let's go to the discovery i have already created the cloud credential in discovery which you can see from this list azure credential you can refer our previous webinar regarding how to scan azure cloud now let's perform the cloud scanning so go to the manage discovery add new run give meaningful name here for targeting let's select cloud and cloud provider as microsoft azure select the credential which we have already created and domain should be azure public now click on okay now the scan is running let's wait as the scan is completed now go to the recent runs and click the discovery run as we can see both the subscription discovered successfully along with four virtual machine node and volumes are discovered now click on to success here is the list of subscription which is present in the azure now as we have created our azure kubernetes service on subscription azure subscription let's open this discovery access here in inferred entity we can see one service for kubernetes are discovered if we click on this we can see this cloud service node for this azure kubernetes service and cluster got created as the vm part of this cluster is not discovered as host the host to cluster relationship is missing here now if we open this cluster node we are not able to see other kubernetes related nodes as a part of this cluster so to get enriched data from azure kubernetes service we need to perform the api provider scan and to do so first we have to create the service account and cluster role via azure cli also we will use the same yaml file which we have downloaded previously via discovery ui so first let's go to that yaml file and review the configuration here we can see the yaml file which we have downloaded from the discovery ui and we will use the same yaml file to create the cluster role service account cluster role binding and secret in order to create this let's go to the azure portal from this azure portal let's open the azure kubernetes services which we have created and let's connect this kubernetes service click on connect click on this open cloud shell now let's upload the yaml file which we have downloaded from the discovery ui so click on upload select the yaml file now here we can see that uh, uh, kubernetes rbac setup.yml file 
has been uploaded. Let's see the file using command cat. Now we scroll up, we can see the cluster of name discovery and if we scroll down we can see the services. We can see the service account with name discovery, cluster role binding discovery and secret with discovery hyphen token. So next we will apply this YAML file to create the service accounts and cluster role. Now let's run the command kubectl apply hyphen f and yaml file name now enter now here we can see our cluster role with name discovery created service account with name discovery got created cluster role binding with name discovery created and secret with name discovery hyphen token got created now in order to create the credential in discovery we need token and cluster url so to get the token type kubectl get secret next type kubectl describe secret and discovery hyphen token here is the token which we will use in discovery for creating the credential and also type kubectl cluster hyphen info and we will use this cluster URL in discovery. Now let's go to the discovery and create the credential. To create the credential, go to the manage and credentials, click add, scroll down and select the Kubernetes here. Give a meaningful name, scroll down. Let's go to the Azure portal to copy the token. Let's copy this token. and paste it here similarly let's go to the azure portal for the cluster url let's copy this cluster url and paste in this since 443 is the default port so maybe we can remove this uncheck the tls certificate check and click on apply here we can see the credential has been created successfully now let's perform the scanning of kubernetes cluster so go to the manage click on discovery add new run give meaningful name here for the targeting this time we will select the api and provider should be kubernetes and let's select the credential which we have just created as your kubernetes now click on ok here the scan is running now let's wait now the scan is completed Let's go to the recent run and open the discovery run. Now from the discovery summary page, we can able to see the scan got succeeded and Azure Kubernetes service got discovered with all nodes supported in discovery, such as cluster node, host, software instance, namespace, deployments, software ports, software container, load balancer and pools. If we click on cluster, we can see the namespaces are related to this cluster also the host member and load balancer services this conclude how to discover the azure kubernetes service next we will go through the discovery of kubernetes deployed in amazon to scan aws elastic kubernetes service first we need aws portal access for creating im user to access the aws cli next we need eks ctl kubectl and aws cli installed in our local machine to create the service account required to create credential in discovery next credential needs to be created in discovery to perform the scan let's take a demo on how to scan amazon elastic kubernetes service i have logged into aws portal and discovery ui let's go to the aws portal and review the deployed resources so click on Elastic Kubernetes service. For this demo, I have already created one cluster, demo EKS cluster. First, we will perform the scanning of AWS clouds and will review the discovered data related to this Kubernetes service. To scan AWS cloud, go to the discovery. For AWS, I have already created credential in discovery. You can refer our previous webinar regarding how to scan AWS cloud 
So let's perform the cloud scan. Now go to manage, click on discovery, add new run. Here give a meaningful name. For targeting, select cloud. Provider, select Amazon Web Service. In credential section, select the credential which, which I have created already. In the reason, select AWS. Now click on OK. As we can see, the scan is in progress. So let's wait. As the scan is completed, let's go to the recent run. Click on discovery run. From this discovery run summary page, we can see one virtual machine, two host and two storage volumes got discovered. Now to see the discovered node related to EKS, go to the explore and data. Let's click on cluster. Now here we can see that AWS EKS cluster demo hyphen EKS cluster got discovered. Click on that. From this page, we can see this cluster node got discovered, which is type of AWS EKS cluster. And it has the internal name demo hyphen EKS cluster. Also, we can see the host node part of this cluster. Now to discover other supported nodes from Kubernetes, we need to perform the API provider scan. To do so, first let's create the service account and cluster role via kubectl. For this, we will use the same ML file which we have downloaded previously via discovery UI. So let's go to the command prompt. This is my local server where I have installed EKS CTL, kubectl and AWS CLI to create the service account and cluster role. Here you can see I have already uploaded the YAML file. Let's apply this YAML file. To do so, we need to run the command kubectl apply hyphen f and YAML file name. Here we can see cluster role, service account, cluster role binding and secret got successfully created. Now we need to capture the token to create credential in discovery. So let's run command kubectl get secret. So here we can see our newly created secrets discovery hyphen token. Now run command kubectl describe secret and and secret name discovery hyphen token. Now here we can see the token which we will use in discovery while creating the credential. Also we need cluster URL while creating the credential in discovery. So let's run command kubectl cluster hyphen info. Now here we can see the cluster URL. Now we will go to the discovery UI and create the credential. From discovery UI, go to the manage, click on credential, add and scroll down, select the Kubernetes OpenShift. Here provide the meaningful name. Now for the token value, go to the command prompt, copy this token and enter here. Similarly, for the cluster URLs, go to the command prompt, copy this cluster URL and enter here. For this credential, let's uncheck this TLS certificate check. Now click on apply. Here we can see the credential got created successfully. Now let's scan the Kubernetes. So go to the manage, click on discover, add new run, give a meaningful name here. Select the API in targeting and from the provider list, select Kubernetes. And here we need to select the credential which we have created just AWS EKS credential. Now click OK. As we can see, the scan is completed. Go to recent runs, click on discovery run. Here we can see the EKS cluster got successfully discovered along with supported nodes such as host, software instance, namespaces, deployments, software ports, software containers, load balancer service and pools. Let's go to the cluster. Now we can see here the cluster of type AWS EKS cluster got discovered along with related namespaces, related host node and load balancer services. Now let's go to the visualize. Click on this visualize. From this visualization, we can see the nodes which are connected to this cluster such as namespace, load balancer services, etc. Now, if we want to see the other Kubernetes nodes, so let's go to any namespace 
and click on this plus sign. Now here we can see on top we have namespace. Under this namespace we have this deployments. Now right click on this deployments. Expand the collection. We will see other nodes connected to this deployment such as software port. So this particular deployments having three software ports. And under this software ports, we can see the software container which is managed by this node. This concludes how we can discover Amazon EKS. Now let's talk about the troubleshooting of some of the common issues. The first issue when performing the credential test of created Kubernetes credential fails with error failed HTTPS connection pool. This happens when you provide the incorrect port in the credential. To fix this, use the correct port. It can be customized, but the default port for Kubernetes cluster is 6443. Second problem, scanning of Kubernetes fails with error. Certificate verify failed, unable to get local issuer certificate. This could happen you have enabled the TLS certificate check in credential. However, authentication in Kubernetes via certificate is not enabled. So to fix this issue, disable the TLS certificate check from the credential by following the below step. Edit the credential used to scan Kubernetes and uncheck TLS certificate check option. Save the credentials and perform the scan again. Here are the references to the topic that we have discussed today. First link is talk about how to discover Kubernetes when it is on-prem. Second link is about Azure Kubernetes services scanning. The next link is about Amazon ECS scanning. And last two are the references about the webinar AWS and Azure Cloud scanning. Now let's summarize the topics we discussed today. We started with overview of Kubernetes discovery. We then showed how to configure the prerequisites for scanning Kubernetes. After that, we discussed how to discover the Kubernetes deployed on-prem. We then talk about the scanning of cloud Kubernetes services such as Azure Kubernetes service and Amazon EKS. And then we discussed how to troubleshoot some of the common issues. With this, I am concluding this webinar. Thank you all for attending.